Hi, this is Kat Chancellor with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demo demonstrator. And today I want to bring you a card that I just finished making for uh, my brother for his birthday. Here it is. I'm using the Gear It Up Garage bundle. And I've made it as a easel card. So it pops up nicely and it says, may your day be, be as wonderful as you. And it's using some of the neat elements that come with this suite. Okay, so let's get started. Well, you're gonna need the Geared Up Garage and all the wonderful dies that come with that. And I'm going to use this die right here and this framelit right here to cut out my car. I've also put on blocks um, the car that I'm going to stamp out as well as the sentiment that says you are a classic. So this is great for birthdays or for Father's Day. So um, for coloring the car, I'm going to use my stamping blends. And the colors that I've chosen are going to be the light and dark, uh, what is this, for light and dark uh, cherry cobbler, light and dark daffodil delight, light and dark gray, or rather this is light and dark uh, basic black, and then pool party for the windows. You're also going to need, because what I did with this card, and let me just put these aside here, is if you kind of look, I added some very special, um, uh, very special, uh, elements or a, kind of some embossing. Do you, can you see that? So I've taken the car and I added uh, black embossing powder and if you can see that the chrome on the on the uh, along this classic car and the grill are done with silver along with some of the the real wheel rims have also been highlighted with silver. So this is another way that um, I have made made this card a little bit more uh, special. And uh, I'm going to show you how I did that. So let me just back out nicely here. Okay, so in order to put this card together, you're going to need some silver foil and you're going to have to put some of this wonderful uh, multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back so that it will stick nicely to your card. I'm using the DSP that's in the currently in the, in the uh, current catalog. This is a retiring item. So again, this is fantastic, very masculine oriented um, DSP. And if you're looking for masculine paper, this is just a wonderful set of paper to have and to keep on hand, especially with this die set. I've act, I have gone in and ordered another pack just for my own personal use. So I'm going to use a sheet of DSP and to cut our uh, easel card, I'm going to refer to my fancy fold card making uh, guide. I'm flipping it over because I'm going to make the easel card. And this gives you all the, um, uh, everything that you need to um, go ahead and and uh, make that card. So to begin with, I'm going to need a piece of uh, 11 by 4 and a quarter. And this is going to be our base card. I'm then using a piece of our regular size card, five and a half by four and a quarter, and this is going to be what we're going to put our car on and our gears, and this is going to be the piece that's going to um, to pop up. So that's this front piece right here that's going to pop up, and then this black piece here is going to be the piece that is going to be part of making up our easel. Now, the secret with an easel card is that you need to have some extra layers of paper here so that when you um, pop up your easel, that your edge will catch very nicely on a piece of paper. So to do that, I have um, a piece of gray cardstock, and this is cut at, I believe it is, let me check here, uh, four by two and two, 
four and two and a quarter because I'm going to cut my um, my DSP at um, two and four and four in order to make a very nice um, in order to frame that and then I'm going to cut a strip of DSP for the front and then I'm going to have my DSP for the back so um, I will have all my my instructions and my guidelines in my uh, in my on my blog um, this color here is gray uh, is uh, your uh, basic gray and uh, I have stamped a background very light background using this stamp which is kind of like an oil slick that's part of the stamp set and it is this right here and I'm using gray granite to do that so that's so you need gray granite and memento black as part of your um, to uh, create this card you'll also need the classic garage metal elements these are wonderful little pieces that we're going to um, embellish our card and I have some of this metallic black uh, ribbon this is also going to be retiring but it goes perfectly with this set and I would really encourage you to um, to get online and order this before it goes away because this is just really perfect with this whole this whole suite and it's always so hard to find masculine cards I'm also using the stitch shaped framelits and I'm using the largest of the ovals with a piece of vellum because that's what I've used here to pop up my to pop up my uh, my race car and I think that's all the pieces and parts that you're going to need so um, let me go ahead and let's get started so I'm going to take my scoreboard here, um, my paper cutter, and I'm going to use the scoring end because I'm going to score this at five and a half right here. I'm going to get my cutting piece out of the way and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to score it at, um, I think it's eight and two-fifths and I have another little sheet I use I ha I've made this up so this is uh, five and a half and then this is uh, eight and a fourth so I'm going to pull this out and we're going to pull that out over here to eight eight and um, eight and a quarter so that's eight and a quarter is right there and I'm going to score it right there so that is the beginning of our easel card so we fold it like this and then we're going to fold it like that and that's going to create our tent for our easel card um, the next piece that I'm going to cut is going to be my DSP and my DSP is going to sit on top of this black piece right here again this is cut at five and a five five and a half by four and a quarter and I'm going to put a piece of of this cards of this black um, this DSP right on top of it and this DSP is going to be cut at two and five and and a quarter so let me cut this at uh, five five and a quarter I'm going to cut it five and a quarter by four oh, that's the gray granite we want this no we want this five and a quarter hold on I'm looking at my five and a quarter by two is what we want though so we're going to cut this one right here so this piece is going to go right there then the next piece we're going to need is two by four so we have this one at four so let's cut this one at two inches and then we should have one that's four should be about four by four and 
let me show you how this is going to go. This is going to go, our piece is going to go right here, and then this piece is going to go in here, and then we're going to have this gray piece is going to go right like that. That is how we're going to put this together. Okay, so here's all our pieces, and I'm going to take my bone folder because I want to make sure that I get very good scoring on, on this card. So this is my base and this is my top. So um, let's go ahead and put our base aside for now and let's work on putting together the top of our card. I have some Whisper White cardstock and the first thing I want to do is I want to stamp um, my car. So I'm going to take my car stamp and I'm using Momento Black and I'm going to ink this up and we're going to stamp this right here. Make sure it gets nice and inked. And I'm going to stamp this right here. I'm not going to worry that this is a little light because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to color my car. So I'm going to bring in my colors. Now because I have some black here and I'm going to bring in and bring it in so you can see what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to add some some extra light. I'm just going to kind of color that in a little bit. It didn't quite get as dark as I wanted. But that's okay. So now I'm going to take my light cherry cobbler and um, I'm going to take this light gray first, this light basic black. And this is um, kind of, I guess it's a air mold handler or something. I want to go ahead and color that first so that I I don't um, I don't mess that up. And then I'm going to color my windows this color. Okay, and then I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color my my headlights. And what I'm trying to do is is with this image, I'm trying to, to um, uh, if, especially when you're not really familiar with something, I like to go ahead and start out by, by eliminating everything that should have the right color and then what shouldn't have. So everything that, that I've colored in should be colored in and everything else should basically be my um, my red. So starting with the light, I'm going to go ahead and Now let's get my dark cherry cobbler and again using my finer nib I'm going to go right here with the where the shading is and just kind of follow some of that. I'm going to add Versamark and we're going to do some embossing on this on our car. So now I'm going to grab my my very fine tip pen. I'm going to grab my Versamark and I'm going to start one color at a time. So the first color I want to do is going to be my silver. So I'm going to I'm just taking my my um, pad I'm just kind of getting some of this Versamark from my brush 
and I'm going to just go ahead and kind of line this with silver. I'm going to line the Versamark right along where I want this bumper to be and along my lights. Let me just kind of move in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of getting the edge. I'm also going to get kind of the spokes, the spokes of these rims right here where it's kind of white. I'm just going to get a spokes of the rims. I'm going to get this handle right here and I'm going to get this mirror right there. So Again, I want to circle around my headlights. Make sure I get that. And I want to make sure I have it right along there. And then I've kind of lined a bit of my spokes. Sprinkle it. Shake it off. You see we have our nice chrome on our car. Okay, so now that that's done, what we're going to do is take our brush again with our Versamark, and this time I'm going to um, I'm going to get the tires. I'm going to color these tires, and they're going to be a nice glossy black. Just like the real racing tires. going to actually add a little bit of black in there. Okay, so now we're going to take and we're going to add our black. There it is. My car is now all ready to um, to cut out and I'm going to line this up right about there and I'm going to cut out our car. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our car. I'm just going to pop that out. You can see how nicely it cut around, but it's got some extra white up here on the top. So I'm just going to trim this a little bit and the new, the new dies that we'll be getting from the new catalog are going to be much closer to the line and a lot easier to get a more uniform um, outline when you're cutting. But there you go. Isn't that nice? So we have, we have our car and you can see how we have the windows and we have chrome it looks kind of, I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, so now that we have the car, the next step is we're going to have to go to our Big Shot and we're going to cut out a piece, this piece out of vellum. And I have a piece of vellum right here. Uh, we're also going to um, take our, our silver and we're going to um, add a piece of this adhesive sheet. And let me show you how we're going to do this. I'm simply going to take this right here and I'm going to 
just grab a cutting board because this is this is a uh, three. I'm going to cut this about um, yeah, I'm going to cut that about three. Okay, so that's going to go on the back of this. And then this is four and three fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that to about four and a half. Because you're never going to use the entire sheet. You're just probably going to use a piece of it. So I don't really want to use all of that. Right? And then I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so we're going to take this now. We're going to use this and we're going to cut these out right there. Okay, so I'm going to cut out these two pieces, my vellum and my gears out of my silver foil. Okay, there's my vellum. I can put... And here are my dies right here, cut through. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. All right, so now we're going to take the front of our card and this piece is going to go here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the front of this gray this gray piece right here and I'm going to use this oil slick pattern And I'm just going to use a stamp, stamp off technique. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and I want to put this one here. I'm going to lay this piece here and we're going to put our gears are going to go above that. But the first thing I want to do is I want to use some of my ribbon. I'm going to put some of my ribbon right here. So I'm going to cut a piece that I can, that is long enough that I can put along here. Okay, and then I'm going to hold it right here. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to hold it and I'm going to grab my snail and I'm just going to grab a little piece of snail there and there and just kind of fold my ribbon over. And then I'm going to grab my tear tape and I'm going to use my tear tape to put this piece down. As you know, I love tear tape because I can capture that piece right there and I don't have to, um, I don't have to worry that it's going to come undone. I know it's it's very secure. So now we're just going to put this right here lining up the bottom and it's just going to go perfectly right there. Okay and then this is going to go very nicely right there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some all-purpose glue along the back of that because I want to make sure that this adheres nicely onto the back of my my paper. And there it is. So now I have this nice piece here. This is going to, um, I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals and I just want to make sure that I cap, I kind of get rid of all the, wa the white. So I'm cutting a little bit closer to the outline. There you go. And I'm going to put this in the middle of that piece right there, but I'm going to pop it up on, on dimensionals. And we're just going to go ahead and put that right there. 
So this is going to go very nicely right there. So the next piece I need to do is I need to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to get another little piece of Whisper White. I'm taking my Memento and I love this scene. I'm just going to pop this right here and stamp your classic. I'm going to go ahead and put lay this here and now I'm going to um, pull out this piece. I'm just going to poke through all these pieces here and as I poke through what's going to happen is this piece is going to come out of my dimension, out of my die. Okay, and I need to pick up, there we go. Okay, so I've picked up my paper and I still have my backing on it. So what I want to do now is I want to kind of look at how I want to place this and um, I think I want this kind of like that. So I'm going to lay this down next and I'm going to pull the backing which is right here and I'm going to pull this out and all these other little pieces and parts kind of come out with it. So it's really a nice, it's really a nice piece and I'm just going to lay that I'll lay that right about kind of like that. All right, so now that's on my card. Now I'm going to kind of, I have my car and I need my sentiment. And I'm just going to put this right here on the bottom. But I'm going to use this little cutter because I'm just simply going to cut this so that it will fit nicely on the bottom, kind of lining it up, and I might have cut that a little bit close, but I'm going to put that one right there. I think I'm going to trim this just a tad. You can see I have all my little pieces here. So I'm going to bring this and we're going to put this right here near a classic. So that looks nice. Now the way I'm going to, since this is up on dimensionals, the way I'm going to adhere it onto my card is I'm just going to use a piece of tear tape and I'm putting it along the back where my car is so it doesn't show out show up on the front. I'll just go ahead and pull this off and we're going to center this nicely right there and then we're going to put your classic here on the bottom and again I'm just going to use a piece of tear tape and put that right there. And there you go, we have the front of our card. So now let's go ahead and pull in the rest of our card. And this is our base. So this is going to go on our base so that it can lift up. So let's look at what we're going to do to the inside of our card. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to lay this down here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some, just some glue, just put this down very easily. I'm then going to put this piece, it's going to go right here, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to center this piece on top of the um, basic gray. Let me just go ahead and it's just going to go centered right there. Now the one thing that we are going to do is before I put this on this piece, 
Again, I'm going to grab a piece of this ribbon. I'm going to put this ribbon down here, kind of like that, that touch. I love this ribbon. So I'm just going to flip it over. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to flip it. And there we go. So now it's got some paper here so that this will very nicely um, there. See, it'll catch there very nicely. There you go. And now we're going to cut that. I'm going to bring in my cutter. And this is four and a fourth, so I'm just going to bring it in there. Bring it in on it there. There we go. So that should be enough to be right there. Perfect. Okay. And all I'm going to do is grab, um, Grab some snail, put some snail there, and I'm going to put this right there. I just kind of slipped it under my ribbon right there. So the next piece I need to do is I'm going to grab my, lay this out like this. Now I have a fold right here. I don't know if you can see that. So all I'm going to do is grab my tear tape and I'm going to put the front of my card onto the bottom half, this last bottom half of this folded piece. And I want to make sure that this goes on very, very well, very secure. So I love tear tape. I'm going to take the top of my card and I'm going to line the bottom of my card with the bottom of this right there. And there it is. And then if I pop this up, it goes right there. You're a classic Happy Father's Day. So now let's add a couple of embellishments. And I'm going to take a key and a wrench and um, I'm going to use glue dots. There you go, you're a classic. So, there you go, a very, um, very nice card, very masculine card um, for Father's Day or for birthday. Let me see if I can find my, oh, here it is. Here's the original card. Um, using some of the wonderful uh, elements that come up with gear, Geared Up Garage and um, the Designer Series paper, which I think is just, I just think that's just gorgeous. So, um, uh, I hope you like this fast demonstration. I hope you like the kind of the little interest that you can add to your car with a little bit of, a, of a embossing um, powder. 
and that you'll consider this. Not only is it available in the new catalog, but if you act fast, you can still buy it in the, um, in the current catalog for a 10% savings as part of the, the bundle so that you get all these, all these neat, all these neat dies. So um, definitely want you to take advantage, take advantage of that. So uh, please like my video, go to my blog for all the information about the sizes for these cards. This is uh, Cat Chancellor, this is Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. Happy stamping.